in Unity. First thing I'm going to do with scripts is I'm going to pop over to the project area here and in my assets folder I'm just going to right click because I'm very neat and organized and create a new folder for all the scripts that I wish to create in my Unity game. And I get really good at scripting and create loads of scripts. So just double click into that folder. So now you can see the breadcrumb here points me towards the scripts folder from the assets folder. Right click again and then choose to create a script in C sharp. You can see there's lots of different um, possible scripting languages that can be used in Unity. I'm going to create a C sharp script. I just call it Hello World. Once I have it named, I'll just click away from it and select it. Over in the inspector window, you can see the content of the script and you can choose to edit it then. You can always edit scripts and bring them into Unity from uh, a scripting editor, but Unity has its own inbuilt scripting tool called MonoDevelop. So just double click to open the script in MonoDevelop. So my script is now opened in the scripting tool MonoDevelop. The nice thing that Unity does when you create a script is it creates a structure or a class for you automatically for the script that you set up. So the, uh, the class or the piece of code that has been set up and structured here is called Hello World, which matches our file name. Uh, if you just pop back here to my assets browser there, you can see the file name is Hello World. If you're uh, out there coding in other tools, it's not common that the structure is created for you. Um, it pulls in different libraries of, 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 of collections of um, commands um, in this uh, with these commands here in lines one and two. Then it sets two items here in which you can code straight away. One of these is for initialization, which means setup um, of your code. So for example, if you're setting up a football game you'd for each team, or if I was um, playing a Superman game, I might initialize my character's name to Clark Kent, and that may change during the game to be Superman. So if something is changing during a game, you might put it in the update area here. So it says here that update is called once per frame. And in Unity, uh, you're playing at hundreds of frames per second. So this code is called very quickly um, into action. Along with Unity is a compiles or checks your code for errors. So if I just put a simple word here in my... Oh, come on. In my code, that means nothing. You see, that's underlined with a compile error. When I save that change, notice here that we're in the Mono Develop application as opposed to Unity. It's a separate add-on to Unity. So I'll just save that change that's been made. Return back to Unity, and then when I change from the pro project window to the console window, <coughs> in the console window. There's a more detailed description along with error codes for these errors to help you hopefully resolve them. Just pop back into Mono Develop, take out that line of code, put the error in it. So each time you're coding, make sure you save and then return to Unity where the code is re imported and you should see the error disappear once it's re imported. Okay, I'll just Pop back into the project tab here and show you what you can do your scripts. Um, mostly you'll be attaching to objects and affecting objects. So I'm going to highlight my camera here in my that I have in my project. And then once with the camera highlighted, drag your script over onto the inspector window for that camera to add it as a component. You can also do the same thing by clicking add component and choosing scripts and um, adding it from there. <clears throat> and you can do all sorts of cool things with the script, like changing the, the position of the camera and various properties of the camera. Um, 